Hello guys, welcome to Agri Clarity. Today's session, we are going to analyze the previous year questions of IBPS A4 that have appeared in 2021 to 2024 from the topics agronomy, weed management and agrometrology. You know that agronomy holds a very important place in this exams, agri related exams, right? So therefore, uh, we're going to analyze de in details about the previous year questions from memory based papers and then we are going to identify the priority areas to focus for the upcoming 2025 examination and we will lastly we are going to summarize what are important and I am going to provide you certain suggestions on what are the high yielding topics and how you can prepare that okay so let's start then so the basic topics that we are going to cover uh, in this session belongs to basics of agronomy crop production, nutrition management, disease management, weed management, cropping and farming systems. So whatever PYQs we have collected, we have bifurcated uh, these PYQs into these six major topics. Okay, basics of agronomy, crop production, nutrition management, disease management, weed management, cropping and farming systems. And again, in these, we have uh, bifurcated the uh, topics into certain subtopics, right? Like in basics of agronomy, we have come with the crop ecology, then the terminologies related to agronomy and the national institutes which are there. In crop production, we have classified this into cereal crops, into pulses and oil seeds crops and into commercial crops. Then in nutrition management, we have uh, discussed here regarding the deficiency symptom. Then there were only two questions. So, from weed management that we will see and in cropping and farming systems we have mainly given focus on agroforestry and forestry because from agroforestry and forestry a lot of questions have come in these four years from 2021 to 2024 okay so let's discuss about the pyqs with respect to these subtopics okay so first subtopic is what this is the terminologies related to agronomy you know terminologies based questions are very important in agriculture related exams right so in 2024 what came that is the organism proliferates in environments with a lot of organic substrate conditions so the options were like whether it is autotroph or whether it is heterotroph okay so mm -hmm. which organism proliferates in environments with which have a lot of organic substrate so it, it will be autotroph right next in 2021 it came removing off type plant of same species but different variety so whenever we remove off type plant what is the terminology the terminology is rogging isn't it the terminology is rogging then another terminology came that is smother crop okay so smother crop and um, what is an example of smother crop cowpea isn't it suppose they ask that which is an example of smother crop so then you can say cowpea okay so smother crop what do you understand by smother crop answer it in the comment section okay try to find out what is the meaning of smother crop so then it will be revision session for you as well okay Next subtopic is regarding the National Institutes. So there were only two questions that have come from there. And in 2024, there were many surprise questions and very out-of-the-box questions that were asked. Okay, One such question is this one. Laboratory testing under DPSS are approved by which autonomous body under ISO or IEC? 1711. Then in 2023, they asked about NRC for integrated pest management. This also try to answer it in the comment section. So these two questions try to answer it in the comment section. What is a, a smother crop and NRC? Where is NRC for integrated pest management located? The next subtopic is regarding crop ecology. In crop ecology, you see this is according to Krida. Deep plowing means how much centimeter whether it's 5 to 10 centimeter whether it's 10 to 15 centimeter or whether it's 20 to 30 centimeter so that you will have to mark it from the option so this question came in 2023 another topic that uh, i mean another question that came from crop ecology is planting of fruit trees at a close spacing techniques with the sole objective of obtaining maximum productivity per unit area so as you can see this term optimum uh, sorry obtaining maximum productivity per unit area and the plants are planted at a close spacing so you can very easily identify this is what this is hdp 
right this is hdp so this question came in 2023 that is high density planting right so sometime uh, if they have asked high density planting then they may also ask about what about the spacing of high density planting okay next this is a seed uh, sowing method that has been asked in 2021 wherein the seeds are dropped in furrows for continuous flow whether it is seed drilling or it is seed dibbling or it is broadcasting you will have to identify from the options our next subtopic is cereals okay so first you see drum head culture this came this is an again out of the box question that came in 2024 drum head culture technique is used in which of the following crops so the answer to this question is rice okay then uh, next miracle variety of rice and another question from rice is aroma and flavor compound present in rice and here you see such a simple question that is scientific name of rice right so you can see from the cereals point of view rice is very very important okay because so many questions four questions have come in the four years right from rice and another question was there on norin 10 which is answer is what it will be wheat isn't it that means our two major crops rice and wheat has been uh, the focal point in case of cereals okay so you need to know the a to z of rice and wheat next we'll talk about pulses and oil seeds so here you can say they have asked about which species of rhizobium is suitable for lentil crop and they have asked next in 2022 they have asked in the oil content in groundnut you know groundnut is one of the major oil seed crops which contains a high amount of oil it is one of the major oil containing crop okay or oil seed crop and They've also asked about what the family of mustard. So even in case of crops, you can see only the major ones are touched, isn't it? And for 2025, okay, for 2025, this oil seeds and pulses becomes very important because government has been giving too much of attention to this pulses and oil seeds so that we can reduce our import, right? So therefore, this year, you need to be very attentively studying about this pulses and oil seeds. Next subtopic is regarding commercial and fiber crops. Okay. So here you can see the toxic compound present in cotton seed mill. This was asked in 2024. You know this, isn't it? It starts with G. What is it? Gossipol. Okay. Next is what mostly in Karnataka and Maharashtra, most adopted sugar cane practice. They're asking question about sugar print practice and the duration is 15 to 60 months. So you need to answer whether it is XLE or it is Adsali. Okay, so this was also asked in 2024. Then they have asked in 2023 about lint index. What should be the optimum lint index? Okay, that was asked in the question. So in next years, you never know, they may ask what is this lint index formula, right? Then next is given which tree uh, produces silk, cotton and kapok. So for that reason, here the scientific name was asked. So you need to know about the scientific name of the major crops as well. Then again, TSS for sugarcane ripening. So what you can see from the commercial and fiber crops point of view, sugarcane and cotton are the most important crops, right? Sugarcane and cotton. So again, in here, you need to know the A to Z of sugarcane and cotton. And you never know this year, they may ask about jute as well. Okay. Next subtopic is terminology is related to crop and crop cultivation. So here you see, they have asked about epigeal type of germination easy you just need to know which family uh, of crop has epigeal type of germination and which family of crop has the hypogeal type of germination if you know that then any crop they may ask you will never find it difficult to answer then next it was given branches that arises from basal nodes of the stem of crown uh, stem or crown in cereals so what is it it is your tillers isn't it next again here you see photoplastic seed scrubbing rubbing and softening of seed coat so these two questions came from seed part right so what is scratching rubbing and softening of seed coat scarification right okay next if you see the nutrient disorders and deficiencies so only two questions have been asked that too you see related to rice and pulse and oil seed crops okay so therefore you can see the importance of rice and pulse and oil seed crops then again many questions have come from forestry and agroforestry and you will see that most of the questions have come from the components of agroforestry okay and one or two questions have come regarding the tree trees description so here you see woodland trees widely spaced covered by grasses are found found in hot climate what is it called as 
okay then there was another thing that is a fertilizer tree so any tree which belongs to leguminosa will be the answer isn't it the nidal characteristic of a tree for early cropping so if you know what is early cropping then obviously you will know what is the ideal characteristic of a tree species and whether these two are related or not okay then next there was a question regarding the color chart of the different diameter classes of trees okay so that was also one of the questions then this came regarding the description of deodar trees okay so any tree which has any striking characteristic okay so that you need to know like blue flowers or aerial roots such kind of description agar de de then you will have to know that which tree they are talking about so that means any tree which has any striking characteristic take a note of such trees okay again in here it is given there are pasture trees and agricultural pastoral so you know the types or the components of uh, not the components the types of agroforestry isn't it what are the types of agroforestry agrosilviculture silvi pastoral agro silvi pastoral horti pastoral horti silvi culture right so this components and this types of agroforestry also you need to be very thorough with next we'll see about the weed management so only two questions have come from weed management and they are related to the herbicides okay pendimethalin and 2,4-D and they have come in 2021 only okay they have appeared in 2021 only and then up to 2024 there has been no questions on weed management so what you will do regarding weed management we'll have to be very clear about certain crops which are associated uh, sorry certain weeds which are associated with our major crops and then the major herbicides and its formulations so those we need to be clear with okay then our weed science will be good to go next we'll talk about agrometeorology okay here also very few amount of questions have come from agrometeorology but now agrometeorology has become very important why because we are talking about climate change right we are talking about climate resilient agriculture every time there is a meeting or there is a conference of the government then they are always talking about these topics isn't it so since they're talking about this topic this is the burning topic right now right it is the burning topic therefore what you will see that agrometeorology is is a very very important part for your 2025 examination okay so it's a very short topic try to cover it very well so that any question that comes from here you can easily answer now let us see what are the pyqs that have come from agrometeorology one question was regarding the branch of meteorology okay which deals with the forecasting for crop tillage and animal husbandry what will be the answer the answer will be your agro meteorology and another thing there was an, a question regarding a weather element that is the amount of water vapor that is present in the environment as opposed to how much water vapor in percentage so here we are talking about what we are talking obviously about humidity but which kind of humidity we are talking about okay that you should know we are talking about humidity amount of water vapor which is present in the environment is humidity but there are three types of humidity isn't it absolute relative you know? so absolute and relative humidity are there so which uh relate which humidity we are talking about so that you will have to know so therefore if you see what are the topics that have uh appeared in pyqs and that are of high importance in agronomy okay so we'll see first about the high priority areas first from basic of agronomy you need to be very clear about the different terminologies that you will come across while studying agronomy the national institutes related to agronomy the most important ones or the ones that have been appearing in the news recently and the technical aspects like if they have asked about hdp if they have asked about uh you know uh, autotrophs okay if they have asked about the um, i mean the oil content and all these things so therefore you have to see the technical aspects of the basics of agronomy they have asked about deep plowing isn't it so they may ask uh, about uh, the tillage how much moisture content should be there during tillage and such kind of things also they can ask so that is the technical aspect that we'll have to consider while studying agronomy next is about your crop production so in crop production what you will see we have seen in cereals rice and wheat hold most importance in commercial crops cotton and sugar cane held most importance and pulses and oil seeds also right so this year 2025 i told you 2025 you need to focus on pulses and oil seeds because you never know when these instead of maybe in 2025 instead of rice and wheat they may ask about what they may ask about pulses and oil seeds okay so therefore you will have to 
study this. Next is forestry and agroforestry. The components of agroforestry about certain trees with special characteristics you need to be very thorough with. Then current happenings. This is again very important because directly they may not ask a question related to that, uh, current happenings, but they may correlate those current happenings to the different aspects that we have seen in the PYQs. Okay, so therefore you, you need to keep a track of what is happening so that you can relate the current happenings with the static components okay then moderate uh, priority if you see for nutrition and disease management deficiency symptoms essential elements and their functions so this we will anyway cover in what soil science in details isn't it so from there try to correlate with agronomy then most important diseases and pests of the field crops or of the agronomy crops right this you will anyway cover in what in pathology and entomology so from there you can just correlate to agronomy so therefore i've kept this in the moderate priority areas all right next regarding crops ecology like the planting system the specific cultural practices like in rice we have butioning isn't it then parboiling okay so this such kind of practices also you need to be careful about you need to be thorough about then weed management i told you you just have to study about the weeds that are associated with the major crops in this uh, you will see the classification also isn't it classification of weed will also come under this only which are associated with what is satellite weed so this kind of things just to be clear with and next is a brief idea about the herbicides which is systemic herbicide contact herbicide right and in the priority areas of agrometeorology, because I told you 2025, you can expect certain questions from agrometeorology because there were no questions asked about agrometeorology prior to 2024. In 2024, only they have asked um, two questions of agrometeorology. So again, there can be a probability that they may ask questions from uh, agrometeorology in 2025 as well. So, again, here you will see the weather elements you should be clear with, the weather abrasions you should be clear with, again, weather forecasting also. And in weather forecasting, we'll see so many things are being said by IEMD. So, try to keep a track of this. Okay, the current happenings related to IMD or the early monsoons that we are seeing. So, this kind of current happenings you should keep a track of. Okay. So then if you see uh, the focus level for agronomy is very high because uh, 8 to 15 questions are very likely to come. Okay, an emphasis should be given on the topics that I've already told you. And in agrometeorology this year, I told you it will be, it might be a surprise element, okay, for IBPS A4. So what you need to do right now, so you need to revise the last three year questions because you've seen, right, there are so many topics that have repeated or so many things that have come, like from rice only, there are four questions that have come. And you can also expect questions from rice because rice is also in the news because of the varieties that has been developed recently. So again, you have to be very clear about it, right? So therefore, you need to revise the last three years questions so that you can find out more important areas. Focus on the topics that I've already talked about. Okay, and do not skip agrometeorology. It's a small subject, but it can be of high importance in this year's uh, exam. So that's all for today. We'll meet again with another analysis. Till then, happy learning.